Good evening and welcome to Claude Jones Presents Real Talk. What if you could do something that you loved for a living? What if you went to work every day with a smile and when you were at work, it was an unsurpassed string of laughter? Well, my guests today on Real Talk are living the dream. For the past 40 odd years or so, the CAM Band has been playing venues all over the United States and basically all over the world. They are a band extraordinaire, and they are joining me today on Real Talk. Hi, Cam Band. Hello. Hey, Hello. hey Cam. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me on Real Talk. I really appreciate it. I know that you guys, I, just, just before we even started today, you guys are a barrel of laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> to begin with, I can't imagine what it's like to play with each other all the time and to just have this good a time at work all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how long have you guys been together? Well, technically we've been together for close to 20 years. Mm -hmm. 1990, somewhere around 1995, I was in, uh, actually start off with me and a guitar player named Al, we were called In Soul then. We was working mm -hmm. with a lady, a uh, wonderful vocalist called Lady Rose. She's right. from uh, matter of fact, they call her the singing librarian now, and out of Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> she yeah. works in a library? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, she she's got her own curriculum, as a matter of fact, oh. called Reader Program. Mm -hmm. She started this whole reading, uh, music reading program. So, mm -hmm. she was a good jump start with her. You know, and she, then you guys morphed into the CAM <clears throat> band when? Um, shortly after, after Lady Rose uh, started getting more in the ministry. Mm -hmm. um, we started working with, uh, found out we worked with other vocals as well, and we started doing it from there. So mm -hmm. probably 18 acts or so later, we still doing what we do. All right. And it's yeah. CAM, K-A-M-M, -M, which stands for? Well, it started off Kevin, which is me, mm -hmm. Al, who is, uh, God bless his soul, he's deceased now. Recently. Recently mm -hmm. deceased. Uh, Marcus, mm -hmm. um, this one back the here. The man of few words sitting in the back. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> uh, and um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, Marcus and Mike, which was Al's brother, who had uh, was stricken with uh, multiple sclerosis, and he had okay. to, to leave the band a little bit early. Mm -hmm. And the band name still stands, K-A-M-M, -M, Cam Band. Absolutely. And let's start by introducing ourselves. We'll start all the way over on the end with Eric. Eric, go ahead and introduce yourself. Everyone tell us your names and what you play. My name is Eric Young. I play guitar. I'm Kevin Archie. I play the bass. Mm -hmm. And of course, Kev, the other Kevin, the band leader. Uh, uh, Kevin Williams, I'm a drummer and a percussionist. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Drummer, percussionist. Drummer and percussionist. When it's a good drummer, I'm a percussionist. When it's a good percussionist, I'm a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> and one of our featured artists. Yes, I'm Maverick Gaither. I'm a vocalist and a saxophonist. Okay, and another featured artist up on top. Shaquan Pierce. I'm a vocalist. Mm -hmm. And lastly, man of few words. <laughs> Marcus Brinkley. I'm a keyboard player. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and let's just talk for just a moment. You know, I, I don't want to go any further before we talk about Al. Now, Al was the A in CAM, K-A-M-M, -M, the CAM yes, band. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Al. Listen, Al was <coughs> a guitar player, a real guitar player. Yeah. I really mean that Al was a real guitar player. Mm -hmm. And you really don't find many guitar players that can play together, that really can play in harmony. Mm -hmm. But Al and I, we just did our thing. Yeah. It was so enjoyable because, like, being in a group, we just enjoy being together, you know. And Al was a major part of our group, mm -hmm. and he will really, really, truly be missed. And 
And that's Al G. Funk. Al G. Funk. Clock. Yeah. Clock. 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 Yeah. yeah. We missed I on two it. levels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One plain and also his personality. Person like nice, yeah. laid back person. Very cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we missed him on two levels. He was a quiet. See, people say laid back. Al had a lot to say without saying it. Yeah. First of all, he spoke with his guitar. And he was an incredible guitar player. And like he mentioned, and I'm going to embellish on that, he to play lead and rhythm very well. And that's a lost art today. A lot of kids come up playing lead because they don't, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of uh, veterans abandon right. rhythm right. because they're, and not everything is about chops. Mm -hmm. But Al, was, he kind of, he was such a perfectionist, he stuck to what works. And a lot of people were trying to get new. He and that's it, and we worked with vocalists and things that said he was there place place in that way. And you don't realize how much you miss him until mm -hmm. that element is gone because that element is it's it's just it's it, it was part of his gift. But his personality was, uh, for instance, Albert before he come in the studio we rehearsed that he would always knock on the door. Really, <laughs> always right. knock on the door. Why? That was that was that was his signature. Thing. Yeah, his, <laughs> that was I guess signature. it was like Lou kind of second sweater or something, right? With, with, with St. John, it was his maybe Al knowing Al in his mind. It might have been a ritual, and he went into the door, and, and we didn't get that knock last rehearsal, so we yeah. really, we really, really missed that. But he was an extraordinary guitar player, but even more so, uh, an extraordinary human being. Mm -hmm. Always that, and you that consistency and mm -hmm. whatever he done and how he brought it. So we were really blessed to have my, me for 20 years because he was actually, he's the, I always say the A after the K because mm -hmm. he came with the first one. I stole him from another group called Magnetic <laughs> Touch, y'all. I know they want to get this. They're watching. Yeah, <laughs> that, that for sure, you know. <laughs> and, um, but I, when I seen him play, mm -hmm. you know, uh, he was real special. And that he stood right. out of that unit. You just knew. And I knew. I said, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I said, it's always the spirit. It's like with all of these cats. They, they're good musicians, you know, uh, but the spirit is, you know, it's like um, being in a, a, a team, like a San Antonio mm -hmm. Spurs. They always talk about how they yeah. get along. And one thing is, you know, to have guys who can play. Mm -hmm. But another thing is to have guys who you don't mind traveling anywhere with, yeah. professional on time, you know. And uh, so what happened to Al? And, and he, he recently passed. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. about a month mm -hmm. today, right? Yeah. The twenty fourth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A mm -hmm. month, After a month ago today, yeah. he yes. was. You guys were all supposed to actually be on the show before. Absolutely, right. with Al. Yeah, with Al, and right. then he got sick, and got we said, "Oh, we'll do it in a month." Right, because we figured we'd we get better because we were counting on that. You yeah, know? And, and here we are, a month later, mm -hmm. Sans one. Yeah. 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 So what happened to him? He got sick and just. He had a strict trypococcus pneumonia. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't see it coming, he ignored it. We yeah. rehearsed the Friday before he got sick. Yeah. We had an incredible yeah. rehearsal. Mm -hmm. and one of his favorite songs was Maggot Brain. So after all these years, and I know Al going to hit me upside the head tonight. <laughs> when play, I would never yeah. play because we play behind vocalists. Right. So it was bad enough when we get into our thing, we sometimes, no pun intended, you show them up. If they give us a song, we, we go in deep. Right. But uh, never you, Maverick. Mm. But, He's vocalist, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we we have to be careful when you put a repertoire together, especially when you're playing. You you know what I mean. If the vocalists are doing one thing, you don't want to go be too abstract. Mm -hmm. Especially you play to the room. That's what they always say. Right. Play to the room. Mm -hmm. And so Maggie Brain is one of those songs that, <clears throat> in my ignorance, I was reluctant just to put it out there anywhere. Right. And he was b bugging me for 20 years to do the song. We finally decided to do it, and he never got to do it. Mm. Perform. Publicly, yeah. right. but. No, he did it one time. We did, oh, but that it was, was at a sound check. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we got a good response from the sound check. Nice. But mm. so when we done it, it at his funeral, at his memorial, they went, it wasn't a drive oh, eye in a place. Oh man, mm. at his memorial, yes. of all places. That is, that's right. You know, we have a little bit of a video um, of Al G. Funk Clark. <laughs> Uh, if it's ready, we would just love to roll that in right now and just uh, just pay a little tribute to him. Yes. If we can. No? All right. So maybe a little bit later. Okay. 
Um, mm. But it's good that we at least kept his memory alive here today. Yeah. So, uh, you guys, like we've already established, you've been together since, you know, the birth of Christ. <laughs> I know you said BC <laughs> for the year. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and, and it shows just in your camaraderie, the way you guys get along. And I'm sure it shows in your music as well. Mm, so, um, w what would you guys categorize yourself as? What kind of band? What do you mean? Oh. Well, I guess um, R and B, um, a little jazz, a little funk, a lot soul. of folk, a lot of folk, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and a lot of soul. Yeah, so you can. Um, uh, would you say pop? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 because we work behind people, yeah. so that's necessary. Yeah. We, we and, and explain to our, because you've used that term twice. Explain to our viewers what does that mean when you work behind. Um, we are that band that people go. You know what? We have a little bit of a video. Uh, is there sound on that? No, but we we got a little bit of video. Is this? Uh, that's Al. That's, that's, yeah. that's Al. Yeah. This looks like this is the end of the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that's that's video. Al. That is Al. Uh, you see, we got Jimi Hendrix on uh, on, yeah, his on his shirt. Yeah, on his shirt. Yeah. He represented it well too, cause he he, yeah. he was special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. He probably hiding a, 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 a sea bass because he was the Athens fisher behind his back. Oh, yeah. Really? He, loved back his back. Yeah, he loved the fish. He wasn't playing, <laughs> he was fishing. Uh, Athens oh. fisher. He was yeah. a true fisherman. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll see if we can go back to the video when, if, yeah. if we can queue it up later. But like we were saying, you guys are more funk, you guys are a little bit pop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we play mm -hmm. what somebody will come and get us to perform. Yeah, and mm -hmm. playing behind. And playing means behind what? Um, mm -hmm. acts. We, we're that specialty group that. Huh. A lot of us uh, uh, singers um, have to generally, when they're uh, trying to get a band, have to get people from different entities, sometimes different bands, and mm -hmm. who's available. But we generally, we first of all, we know because we're professional. We're always on time. The cat's equipment is always up to par. Mm -hmm. You know, they're easy to get along with. You know, and, and, and we do the, the material, uh, we do that material well. So depending upon who that artist is, but they know our specialties. <coughs> we work a lot behind uh, artists who are uh, R&B, mm -hmm. um, mostly R&B. A lot of the artists who we had the pleasure of working with, Blue Magic, Black Ivory, Melissa Morgan. Um, uh, wow, uh, this week coming up, we could be behind Chico DeBarge. Right, in Harlem. In ha up in Harlem. Mm -hmm. in nice. This uh, this incredible young man here, Maverick Gaither, who uh, folk got to see, he had a hit in England that went number one on the Soul Charts. Which hit was that, Maverick? Oh, uh, the, the the hit on the the CD was uh, called No One But You, mm -hmm. but my CD itself was called Be My Music. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. And when was that that it was climbing the charts? Uh, around uh, 2013. Uh, mm -hmm. I finished the CD in 2012. And around 2013, uh, they started uh, playing it, not only in, in London, but in uh, Singapore, Japan, Germany, mm -hmm. Africa. So it went around the world. Mm -hmm. Shikhan, mm -hmm. you were also on that, uh, on that uh, CD at all? No, mm -hmm. I was not on the CD. I, wasn't, I didn't know Maverick or the band at the time when he was recording. Mm -hmm. But um, when the band started <coughs> learning his material to back Maverick up in live performances, right. that's when I was brought in to learn the material and mm -hmm. help with background vocals. Nice. And you come from the the background vocal uh, specialty, or yeah? Nope. No, I do not. It How was did all. How you join the group? Because I know you're the newest of the new yes. here. <laughs> well, you know, thank God for my sister. She's always out meeting people, and she's just very artistic. Always out doing stuff. She's a singer right. as well, mm -hmm. and she's recording. I think she met Kevin in a, in a recording session, Kevin. Uh, uh, yes. As a matter of fact, she was introduced. Actually, she met me. We had a group called Soulmates, which me and these two gentlemen was a yes. part of. A, a, and when was that? A corporate About band. 2000? Wow, that was 2010, 2011, right? Okay. Yeah. 2010, yeah. 2010, yeah. 2010. Yeah, right 2010. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, corporate thing. It's been thing. that long? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. Wow. So they get more. I've been for about four years. Yeah, yeah. yeah 2009, as a matter of fact, I opened my yeah. studio, my rehearsal studio, in 2008, the 28th okay. of December 2008, and, and Soulmates was right after doing that. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Time yeah. flies. That was around December, so Soulmates is 2009. Wow. And, and his sister, her sister, 
Uh, I'll uh, introduce you. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, um, very beautiful, very talented young lady mm -hmm. also came to uh, to audition for the band, actually. Oh, she was okay. recommended, not audit, but recommended. Mm -hmm. she, your and, sister uh, is also a singer. She came to, yeah. mm -hmm. to, yes. to uh, try out. And right. And... Um, and we scared her away too much. <laughs> too much, too much <laughs> we ran away too, to work too hard. You ran like, her off. Uh, the corporate work is hard. People don't know it's, it's hard work. But, yeah. but then I had the pleasure of meeting her through her because I'd done an original gig that her sister writes uh -huh. also. Yeah, very good, very, very talented writer. Who's your sister? Shout her out. Uh -huh. Santel Nicole Williams. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Telly. <laughs> <laughs> she kept the good old name Williams. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, and so you joined the group. And so yeah, she once yeah, I heard the her. Guts. Yeah, my mm -hmm. sister, she kind of had to talk me into it. She was like, "You need to get back into singing." These, she kept talking. She, she spoke very highly of Kevin, and she thought that my, um, I guess my voice would fit well with the yeah. type of music that they did. Mm -hmm. So we both went to a rehearsal. You met Maverick. At first, we were both thinking about doing background but my sister's in school full time at the time, so she said she couldn't handle mm -hmm. that. So I just kept coming to the rehearsals and learning the material, mm -hmm. and background vocals was new to me, so I figured, you know, why not? I might as well learn as much as I can. So um, that's how it all started. Wow. And Marcus, you're hmm? sitting up there with your baby face. <laughs> me? Like, <laughs> you just joined the group in Here we go. 2013. I'm not as old as these guys. Come no to find out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, making yeah, music right. for Can a long time, too. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with your baby face. How long have you been making music, Marcus? Since I was about 13. And how long ago was that about? Seems like, years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like only yesterday. Seems like only yesterday. What y'all laughing about? <laughs> Let me put this in perspective. Yes. Uh, me and Marcus mm -hmm. and Maverick uh -huh. were in a group when we were teenagers uh, called The Whole Damn Family. The Whole Damn Family. Mm -hmm. 74. Wow. 74, 75. You were making music in 74 as we a teenager. We were all in, in, in high school then, mm -hmm. you My know. My grandfather was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, so me and my grandfather look alike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he played a little better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had the pleasure of mm -hmm. working with them. Then we was a whole damn family. Okay. Yeah, because my uh, my brother and sister was in the group. That's how it started, kind of getting that whole damn like family. Like twenty of us in the group. Yeah, well, <laughs> it just seemed that way. Who was it? Yet? Manny's or was it Sammy? I met him in Manny's. It, yeah. it just, being crazy yeah. as he was, yeah. on the keyboard, nobody playing. Act like he's playing at a concert <laughs> on August. Smoke oh. coming out the organ. <laughs> he's dancing and playing, and I, I said, uh. he's crazy enough to be in a, a band called the whole damn family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's when he was in Erasmus Hall. I couldn't get him to sing at first. And really? Couldn't get him to sing. He played sax. Couldn't get him to sing. You didn't want to sing. Not at no, all. I, was, I, I wasn't uh, into it. I was really just learning how to play the saxophone. Mm -hmm. And I was in love with the saxophone, so that's all I wanted to do. Wow! When did singing come about for you? Because now that you've you know you've got a number one hit overseas, when did singing come along? I think uh, I, I fell in love with singing when I heard the voice of Luther Vandross in 1981. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I was at the School of Music in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, mm -hmm. and when I heard his voice, it kind of woke me up out of my sleep. And I got in my car, I drove down to uh, the mall in Virginia, and I, I got his. Uh, back then, it was with the uh, never CDs. too much. Not even a CD back then. Never too much album. So I got the tape and I just played it every day. I played it till I couldn't play it anymore. When his voice would go down, I would turn it up just right. to hear every every everything he said, every word, every breath. So that's how I really started singing. And then did you teach yourself or did you have natural talent or did you take lessons or all of those? I think uh, what happened was uh, at being a musician, you know, helped allowed me to have a uh, decent intonation right. and uh, I knew enough about music to apply it to my voice, so I think I learned it. Yeah. And then, lo and behold, 20 years later, you're on the charts, number one. Uh, well, God is good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's good. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Now, I have a great band mm -hmm. to uh, help me uh, with my live performances. Yeah. Live performances. Where have you guys played? Yeah. You're laughing. <laughs> I've got Alzheimer's in so many places. I forget. Yeah. 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 Resorts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the well. casino, played right here in Queens. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yeah so the feature pieces from the, with Al that they may hear later is mm -hmm. from the, the World Resorts. We've been there several times. We just Bar 360. Out. Right. Yeah, yeah. 360 Bar. Yeah, 
you get a lot of venues because when you have when you're playing behind you know, certain acts, especially so-called celebrity acts, like you, like Melissa Morgan, right. uh, um, who we are going out as far as I know. The 27th again, we played with her uh, Brownsville Day mm -hmm. in uh, Brownsville for the first time. Uh, and we're going out back with the 27th to Maryland. 27th of June. June, I'm nice. sorry. Nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and um, Black Ivory mm -hmm. and uh, Blue Magic and, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but, it, you know, when you get a chance, you get various places that you, you, you bless to play with because that's what we do. We play behind artists. And so, mm -hmm. Every place but hell if they tell us to go play. <laughs> yeah, because it's kind of hot down there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's only because we, that's only down, most yeah. of us, we all have a Christian foundation. Yeah. Most of yeah. us. Yeah. I, is it safe to say all of us Absolutely. believe? Yeah, so, yeah. And I think that helps us with our professionalism yeah. and with Chicago being very comfortable around us and every mm -hmm. other folk can be played behind so many female both priceless who has an incredible Stephanie Mills review. She started that Stephanie Mills review with us. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, another, we've just been so blessed to play behind so many incredible mm -hmm. singing groups, a taste to it, certainly one of the Amazing. best singing groups that I've heard mm -hmm. in, in individually as well as collectively, mm -hmm. uh, the True Image, Bases mm -hmm. Loaded, you know, so many. Legacy. Yeah. Legacy. 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 Yeah, yeah, Legacy. Legacy. Legacy is very, yeah. very good. And we just work behind them at the casino also. Mm -hmm. And then they ain't desperate enough to get us back. Nice. You know? The best place you guys, best venue you have played in? Huh? Mm. Best venue. Like. Y'all could say, because I guess all of us may have different venues yeah. that we played like that casino. I like the casino. Well, I really like the casino. Yeah. Why? Uh -huh. yeah. I don't know, because it was, it's it was spacey. Right. Uh -huh. We was able to. We really had the whole stage. It was room on stage for all of us and the singer. Is that the bar 360? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's a and nice, the sound, the sound nice. in that yeah. nice setting. Yeah. The sound yeah. is yeah. incredible. It's a beautiful setting. The atmosphere is yeah. very nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's the people nice and who are there really like the music. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, sometimes you go someplace to play and the people are just not interested. Right. Yeah. Yeah. you've right. seen that as artists, I'm sure. Oh yeah. 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 So the, the we casino. seem to wake them up, though. Yeah. And, and I think, I think, you no, know, like the sound man, and I'm putting them on blast, kept saying we want one of the better bands that came through there. So I that always helps it. when you hear yeah. that kind of, yeah. get mm -hmm. that kind of response. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, in in the room, like I said, the room, the sound is just yeah. really. It's made for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it's close to home. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's so. it. It's close to home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just pack up, go right there, come right back home. <laughs> yeah. Where close else have home. you played that's notable in your mind? Uh, uh, what was the name of the hall we played with Blue Magic? That was a yeah. beautiful place. In in Maryland. Maryland. I enjoyed Maryland. that, that too. It was um, some kind of memorial place. Yeah, one of, one of the featured. Um, places in, 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 in Maryland, Houston yeah. Call in, in, in Maryland, incredible, dy uh, I mean, dynamics. Right? Uh, yeah, the dynamics yeah. and acoustics was really special there. Yeah. We, we certainly love to play when we get a chance to play outdoors, like uh, Brownville has this thing every year, mm -hmm. and we had the pleasure both of playing with Brownsville Blue Magic. Day. Yeah, yeah. Brownsville yeah. Day. Yeah. We've, we've been there several times. Several times, nice. yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. BRC. Yeah, so, because uh, the energy, mm -hmm. the energy there, you know, sound yeah. is, is always gets out, outdoors, but the energy and people, the people appreciate that so much because you have a lot of the people who are nostalgic. Mm -hmm. mm. So when you play behind, you know, they're here and you play playing behind Black Ivory or Melissa Morgan, yeah. both are incredible, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of their reception that they get from more because you they know, really enjoy both it. Both of them made a, a huge mark in, in, in R&B. Music and you, you know about R&B. You fall oh, that kind of stuff. You Italian. make babies <laughs> off her and you. It's good music, <laughs> <laughs> it's Good to be around musicians. I can't yeah. lie. <laughs> best venue up on top. Yeah, Mark, is it with your friend? Oh, I like Resource World. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Right. Uh -oh. Uh, I guess the the best place I've ever performed or sang at was the um, Apollo. <gasps> You've been uh -huh. to the Apollo. I was in the competition when you in 2003. Wow, how'd mm -hmm. you do? I didn't win, uh -huh. but uh, but you didn't get pulled off with a cane. No. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no, I got a good applause. I got a good reception. So just to do, do it was yeah, um, that, I mean, like something I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. Yeah. But um, 
to me, it was the scariest thing too. But yeah. <laughs> to I do it imagine. was like I mean, that's part of wow. history. So there's yeah, a lot of pressure yeah. on you yeah. performing yeah. on that stage. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've I got done that venue. That's that Apollo is incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it is, it's, it's incredible. Do you feel it when you're scary, on the stage though. there? Do you very, feel that? Well, very, yeah. very, very that history. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Matthew, yeah. you done the Apollo too? Yeah, I was. I did the uh, the Apollo with Cheryl Pepsi Cheryl Riley. Pepsi Riley right? We actually sung a duet on. Who's on his album also? Uh -huh. Right, right. She's oh, on yeah. my album. Well, anyone else on your album we should know about? Uh, my brother is a rap artist. He uh, he's a Grammy about? award winning. Uh, his his name is Sauce Money, yeah. but his real name is Todd Gaither. Mm -hmm. But he yeah. wrote. Uh, he's he won a Grammy for writing uh, the Missing You song for Biggie, Biggie Smalls. Oh my gosh, he wrote yeah. that. Yeah, he wrote yeah. that. Yeah. Another yeah. brush with fame. <laughs> so you well, you played on Apollo stage. Yes, I as played. Well. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. 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 But we yeah. all, you know, individually, we yeah. we have done a lot. Yeah. 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 Why? Well, I was um, that was gospel. Yeah. I played. Um, I used to go to CCC. Christmas yes, Christmas in Christmas. in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. you and I used to be you in that and band. thousands of other yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yeah, that's exactly right. Tens of thousands. <laughs> yeah. of you get those numbers. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. you played there yes. for really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Powerful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Again, yeah. one of those situations where the crowd really it just soaks it up and enjoys yeah. it. Yeah. Becomes part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys all have roots in the church at all? Yeah. I know you guys are all, you know, Christian. Do you, do you all have roots in the church as far as your music? Well, mm -hmm. I'm the only musician in church right now. <laughs> and in Shout church. out your church. Yeah. <laughs> Victorious Apostolic Church up in New Rochelle. Mm -hmm. And I basically have the pastor that helps me to play, play drums. <laughs> so, but what the congregation said that they don't understand me because it seemed like it's a whole band playing with me just just playing mm -hmm. but i guess you know that's that's god just doing his thing filling in the music yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know it's a beautiful feeling that you get just edifying god and playing every sunday it's a beautiful thing yeah it must be nice it is yeah it really is it's gratifying mm -hmm. it's giving back yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. other Church. You know, I do church music roots. ministry up at mm -hmm. Brooks mm -hmm. Memorial for 15 years. Brooks and Queens. Brooks mm -hmm. and Queens. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's right down the road. You too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got, no, I got baptized there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. He almost drowned too. Had yeah. I known yeah. that, I might have not been baptized. Were you wearing your speedos under that gown? Don't give us that image. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been with the ministry. <laughs> Fifth, yeah. Fifteen years. Really? Yeah, 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 okay, so. Brooks yeah. in the yeah. house too. CCC in the house. That's probably yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, some good churches. Other church roots? I'm not a church goer, no. but I believe in God. Not here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. That's I'm great an to know. Alien person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's because he had a bad experience when he got baptized. He thought uh, he was going to drown. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't drown in church. No. <laughs> the best life preservers are in there. They only threw him the small one. <laughs> oh, he threw the other one back in. He only had a puddle. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to crank me up with the jokes now? No, no. Fabric, I know you have put out your own album. Have you, have you guys also put out albums on your own outside of the group? I had a 45 early years, uh -huh. 1972. Oh my wow. gosh. When I, that was back in the days when I was with Ray Chu and we were young. We were, I must have been about 14. We were with Hal Jackson. Oh. And um, I remember we did a Hal Jackson show with the Manhattans, Brass Construction. Mm -hmm. Don Covey, you guys remember Don Covey? Yeah, I remember it, yeah. And they were all, we were all on that one show. Yeah, I'm not But, um, yeah, that was 19, and it's still on YouTube and everything now, this song. It's called Getting in the Groove. Oh, it man. was on the P&P &P Productions, which was Peter Brown and Patrick Adams. Yeah. 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 Wow, yeah. and we can still watch it today, mm -hmm. isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Prominent producers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyone yeah. else? Yeah. Uh, singles? Uh, yeah, I've done my sister had something with Every Brother Ain't a Brother by mm -hmm. Panarch. I just found it on um, on on YouTube. You found mm -hmm. a live performance. Bro, yeah, not yeah. the live performance, but the actual album, you know. Oh, wow. When when did you cut that? Eighty 
Yeah, yeah. So now my she's sister knew she. Years yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny. Didn't listen to to it. You know, but um, you know that's you know and, and done some recording, but you know like I said, not major like the thing that he put out. You know, he just put out a incredible piece. Yep. Yeah. This last and, album that's climbing the charts is that it was that your first attempt or was it one of many? It was actually my second attempt. Uh, my first was, I was in the military. What branch? Uh, I was in the Army. Okay. I joined the Army in 77. Yeah. yeah and yeah, I got out in yeah. 1990. Right. Mm -hmm. So while I was in, uh, stationed in Colorado Springs, I released a, a single. That's the one you sent me, right? I mean, yes. And I didn't yeah. even know it was him. He sent me the album because he wasn't singing. And he sent me an album. So mm -hmm. sounded really good. Sound a lot like Jeffrey Osborne and when I actually heard to, to my ears. Uh -huh. And I, and this is I'm, I'm listening to it, and I'm saying to myself, oh, like Maverick got hooked up with Jeffrey Osborne. They called him something else. <laughs> 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 and so I'm Come called to talking to him, Maverick. Well, you know, it, nah, this is me, Kev. You know, and I was like, wow. But I knew it. You know, you can always, you know, you know, mm -hmm. I can always sniff out everybody's talent, but my own. You know, yeah. I still haven't smelled that yet. You know, <laughs> I'm glad. Something's you know. wrong with your sense of smell, then, sir. Because uh -oh. It, it's prominent. <laughs> uh, yes. yeah, but, yeah, but all of these guys, I'm just so blessed to work with. And, and the, as a whole, as a unit, you know. Mm -hmm. And you got stuff that we do together on YouTube, various things. Even really? some things with Maverick on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Maverick Facebook, YouTube, yeah. it's all out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So our DNA is, you know. It's in, commingled, in MS, yeah, intermingled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cross mingled. Uh, oh yeah, don't. <laughs> See, Kevin, doesn't, he doesn't really get the credit he deserves <laughs> because Kevin, I, I call him the Pied Piper, mm -hmm. because he brought so many musicians together. Mm -hmm. I mean, many musicians, and he he put us together, and uh, we learned a lot, you know. And he's my favorite drummer in the world. I always told him that, mm -hmm. and uh, he's so funky, and, well funky and powerful, you know. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my roots, in terms of of, I want to be an excellent musician. Mm -hmm. I learned from Kevin because I thought he was one of the best drummers I've ever heard. He's the only drummer I played with. Yes, the years, you know, <laughs> so, all in my elbows to play now. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> but but they oil me up because once you get with them and and then you find out through the years, you know, because me and Maverick and that's just play by play for more reputation and mm -hmm. and so you learn that as you get mature, that being in the pocket and playing with people, you get. Mm -hmm. uh, a greater satisfaction and so do people when they listen to you yeah. because that's one of the things we play very disciplined and that's why we're hired a lot you got you know musicians that are incredible now and, mm -hmm. as, as individuals but again I always say with the San Antonio team nobody sleeps on them when it comes to uh, um, a playoff work. time mm -hmm. they become a team and that's when oh. same thing with these cats they come together people give us the music they learn it and Maverick know how that is sometimes, even working with the so-called best musician. Mm -hmm. You give them a piece, they don't study the music, they listen to it on the car on the way to, right. <laughs> to rehearsal, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, and, and because they are so good and talented individuals, they figure they can come and their reputation carries them a lot. And mm -hmm. the musician, y'all know what I'm talking about, you know, and they'll come <laughs> to the, and have yeah. learned it, and their reputation mm -hmm. will get them through the sail gig. them through. Right, mm -hmm. and, and people will, We'll deal with that because mm -hmm. of reputation. But with us, uh, and I'm certainly not bragging, but it's just fact. We we st try to study music, and when people come, that's why we can play because people know some mm -hmm. of the artists we play with is very difficult. Yes, difficult. very yes. for everybody else. That's Wait a minute, I would like yeah. to say something about that because mm -hmm. Kevin is really right. Um, when we did the gig with Bloom with Blue Magic yeah, down in Maryland, yeah. what was <laughs> so crazy. Out. What was really so crazy, a lot of musicians have a problem with playing with dynamics. What do you mean? Okay, that's, that's knowing how to bring the music down and bring it up to mm -hmm. back up the singers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and with the, the, the Blue Magic, with what they was doing, they really wanted us to bring it down so low <laughs> that if we they would have unplugged <laughs> our <laughs> amps, that's how low we was truly playing. Yeah. But like the audience, they loved it. Yeah. And that gave us a chance to, re to really see how dynamics was really so powerful because 
with the audience, they really responded to it. Yeah. Yeah. And with the singers that was doing what they do, it really worked. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like I said, we were so low. Matter of fact, Al and I was laughing because it was like, yo, was my amp on or what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because... It was that low. It's a whisper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but it didn't lose its drive. No, it didn't actually, lose its drive. Know. And we yeah. just kept it. And, and it was beautiful. And you can tell. We felt with the audience, that's when you know that you playing special when, like you said, you emphasizing the dynamics. Because sometimes when you play that low, to a lot of people, if you're not used to it, it takes away the feel. Right. Because right. you, know? you think of you think of funk. You think yeah. of in your face. Yeah. You think of right. Loud. Right. Volume yeah. and, and, and and pushing. Yeah. And when you yeah. can play that low and you don't, and still have to, don't and lose still, anything. And the audience lets you know what you're doing in the blue because mm -hmm. yeah, they give to give that smile. They step back. That's what's all, always okay. Mm -hmm. The singers, singers always let us know how well you're doing yeah. or how well you're not doing. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they you know, they, they, they don't mind putting us on blast, right? Yeah, they put you on blast. For a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this one here, you know, lot because mm -hmm. I certainly want to go on the loop. Shakan haven't been working with us for a long time, but mm -hmm. uh, you know when God sends you an angel, you know, and it's yeah. a lot of, you know, in this age of the of the Devon steroids, you know. She's uh, bringing us something totally different because mm. she's a joy to be around. She's comfortable yeah. uh, uh, with us and with, with a bunch of men and, mm -hmm. and that everybody must be hard. respects her. Oh, yeah. That's be hard. Yeah. It's not. It's mm. really not. It's, it's, I was girl. very intimidated when I first met these guys. Yeah, I mean, between them, they have. I was know, afraid to open my mouth. Of Christ, I'm <laughs> amount of, <laughs> the same. Of, of experience. Yeah, them. it's very intimidating yeah. when you hear about all the people that they've play behind mm -hmm. uh, Melissa Morgan and all these people and here just I just I felt like oh. you know I knew I had a, a voice but it was nowhere near experience what they're used to dealing with and you know I'm just grateful and really just grateful that they're taking the time to nurture me right and to help me grow as an artist because they don't have to do it you know they're not making well, any money growing. off of me she's really growing. you know oh, it's yeah. really just yeah, a learning yeah, experience really for me along, yeah, remember that name yeah. Shikan Tears yeah. she matter of fact you know. can I have your autograph now please? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get it now so I can put it on I'm eBay I'm telling you <laughs> yeah. I said on eBay <laughs> so God, just she, tell them pay me that money you owe me forget about it <laughs> 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 she definitely has yeah. those wings on her back how do you feel you've grown working with these guys? Oh, wow. Um, first of all, th let me start with the background thing. Um, just all of the, the critiquing. Um, when you're around musicians, you, you have to understand when you're with musicians, you are in a, it's a different world. They speak a different language. Yeah. <laughs> and when you don't play an instrument, um, luckily I've had, in my childhood, I did play an instrument all through school. I played an instrument, a what couple of like? instruments, the flute and the baritone. Okay. But this is classical mm -hmm. music, stuff like that. And I left that alone. I haven't touched it in years. But being around them, a lot of what I learned is coming back. And on my own time, I kind of dabble with that on the keyboards. But just being around them, you, you're, just, you're learning different terminology. You're, I'm learning um, my intonation is getting better because you're playing with live instruments. And I'm used to being in the studio. That's where. Most of my experience at recording and all that young as a teenager was in the studio. There's a whole different ball game mm -hmm. than when these you're live singing on, with live, live on yeah. stage. Big totally difference. different mm -hmm. ball game. Yeah. Now I see why some artists can be in the studio and be mega millionaires and then get on stage and sound like crap. Sorry. Wow. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> <laughs> when you when you are being groomed by musicians and you're growing on stage and you're performing live and you're improving live, you don't have to worry about the studio because that's mm -hmm. going to be one, two, three. Right. And I can see that now, you know. So I'm, I'm growing a lot. Um, my confidence is growing. And with that, I'm allowing myself to reach a potential I probably will, don't even know what I can reach. So right now I'm just loving it and I'm just taking it in. Mm -hmm. Who are your greatest musical influences, everyone? Eric, go ahead. Hmm. I really like Earth, Wind & Fire. <gasps> Definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've really Why? always... Um, I like the music that they've done. They they cover all types, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I enjoy the singing. I enjoy the horns. I just enjoy them, and that's what I really grew up on. Enjoying was Earth, Wind, and Fire. I also like to listen to George Benson a lot. 
Carlos Santana, Ernie Isley, um, and those guys I really enjoy. So that's what I do. Musical influences? Me? Um, oh, Stanley Clark, um, Foreplay, mm -hmm. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Bob James mm -hmm. was one of my favorites, Earl Clue. Uh, they're, 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 I can go on and on, <laughs> but, I, yeah. but I, you know, from a little boy, I just, I would take, uh, I spoke to one of my former music, music friends and he said, from when we were young, you would take that song and you would just master it because I would just spend hours and hours till I would lock it down. Nice. And um, it's paid off. Mm -hmm. It's really paid off. So. I'd say so. Musical influences, gentlemen? Wow. Um, my, my influences go back to probably, because I was a young guy, I used to, um, my father would have me come in the room and look at Buddy Rich when he'd come on the old Johnny Carson show. Which in, uh, which, uh, in Brooklyn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Brooklyn. Uh, mm -hmm. best, I was born in best time, but I, my formative years, of music, musically influenced uh, years was in Bushwick. Because I always told them in Bushwick, I always had a band on every block. But I, yeah. the blocks were named, <laughs> bands were identified by the, the blocks, right. you know. But, you know, when I came, Buddy Richard, uh, Clyde Stubberfield played for James Brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a big influence of mine. Then when he got to the 70s, more like Cobb Ham and, and, um, and Harvey Mason and the Maverick North. I've always been a Harvey Mason fanatic for his creativity and, and um, the way he expressed himself on, the, on, on drums. And he was the one who mm -hmm. introduced me to tonations on drums because everybody don't look at drums as for his tone. He, he was special spirit, always seemed to me to be in the sticks. Mm -hmm. Tony Williams, which is one of my all-time favorites, played with Miles David yeah. Quartet. Okay. You know, so those were a lot of the uh, influences of mine when I was young. And like them, it's Alfred and Fire has always affected most urban mm -hmm. musicians because, in most people's opinion, probably was one of the greatest vocal bands that ever yeah. existed. Yeah. Had it all Stevie around. Wonder, yeah. certainly. Stevie yeah. Wonder, yeah. definitely. And certainly, you know, so. Especially we, as far as live music goes. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, to get back to what you said, it's different. There's all those artists who are in the studio and sound great, and then right. they get out on stage and they flop. Absolutely, because yeah. what people don't understand, a lot of music is influenced by sounds as opposed to music now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Somebody can, excuse me, can fart, and somebody will say, today is sample it, and I'll say, that fart was fly. The kids are so angry, that fart was fly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> because they're not influenced. <laughs> That's why you got guys who are not <laughs> musicians right. that, you, you know, really. play block chords and try and then come in mm -hmm. and, and, and walk away with a, a lot of money. And it's kind of, it's just sort of. It's a business. It's a business. Yeah. That's what it comes down to because, you know, ain't nobody, you have, we don't have the right to be mad at nobody because everybody do it the way in which they figure it'll work for them right. at the time. But the thing is, is that when you talk about music, you know, we come from such a rich <coughs> music history. You know, like I said, I listened to Buddy Rich one day and I would listen to Clyde Stubberfield the mm -hmm. next day. Two totally genres, different genres of music, but we knew they were great musicians. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, coming down to, to music today, you know, guys who can play sound like they're in the clinic now. They mm -hmm. don't, yeah. they, the relationship yeah. Yeah. that these guys, the signatures that guys like Drummer that play with Ohio players, uh, Diamond mm -hmm. had a signature mm -hmm. on the sound. Right. Yeah. Uh, Funky George from Cool and the Gang had a signature yes. on the sound. Walter Orange yeah. from Commodores, there were signatures. Mm -hmm. So when you heard them play, you knew. knew. Even right they heard the drummer. If you took all the tracks away and heard them play, you would know yeah. what band that was because they had a signature on the sound. Yeah. So that's what that I'd was. I'd like to add something to that. Mm -hmm. um, I know when back when we grew up, if you did recordings and things, you had to have your, an, an original sound or you wouldn't be recorded. Yeah. You couldn't sound like Cool in the Gang. Yeah. You couldn't that sound like Chicago. You could, you it was hard to, to sign people sound, sound like. And the yeah. studios would tell you that. Yeah. They'll say, you sound like Cool in the Gang. Get your own sound. sound they and they will come, come back. back. Right. That was the right. Now right. you have to sound like somebody. somebody. 
That you that's don't a sound good like point. Britney Spears. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. and come back yeah. when you sound like Britney. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. She talks yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's because that's what sells. Yeah. 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 Maverick, go ahead. Britney Spears is selling. No, you sound no, like that. I'm you know. enjoying your influences, brother. I, I like I like all all music. I like yeah. country and western if it's good. Yeah. I like uh, soft rock if it's good. Mm -hmm. I, uh, but for me as a musician, what qualifies it as good? Uh, if if it feels good, if it makes you feel something, it, it, whether it's the lyrics, or whether it's the, the way somebody's playing, singing harmony, or a nice chord progression, uh, if, if, if it makes if it makes me feel something and it sounds good, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, I like jazz because it's very challenging. Yeah. You know, I like the period it came from because of mm -hmm. the struggles of our people. Mm -hmm. You know, so not only did we have to struggle with just uh, uh, being accepted as human beings, mm -hmm. uh, the music in itself, you had to be masters. Yeah. Right, absolutely. So absolutely. nowadays, exactly. you know, absolutely. a lot of it is watered down, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I like jazz in terms of, of, of us showing who we really are. Yeah, and, right. uh, and, uh, but, wow. you know, I love all kinds of music. You know, yeah. I've been influenced by it good music and, and no matter what genre it is. Yeah. If you hear him play, it's, uh, you see all of that in him too. You know? yeah. It's hard to all the grab his, yeah, from his vocal to his sax. He, you, he's one of those cats who kind of got a signal to do, even though he can sound like other people. But mm -hmm. when you work with him, you know, because I used to think Maverick mimicked people and I thought he got lost in that. Song. But once <laughs> I seen, heard his recording, you, you understand that this cat and it's sad because had he recorded what he recorded mm -hmm. in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the great era, the last great R&B era, which, which was, was around that Jodeci, okay. uh, Boys to Men, yes. uh, 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 which is grouped all those groups back then, Jodeci, mm -hmm. Boys to Men, mm -hmm. uh, UNLV, um, yeah. uh, uh, New Edition. That was the last great R&B, SWV, mm -hmm. uh, Escape. TLC. He would have been... It's huge because it had a, his his album pretty much has everything. Mm. The harmony is incredible. It killed these guys trying to play sing the harmony. <laughs> the music we acclimated boy, to, boy. Russell, oh, but right. we we wore people out trying to get because he come from that Luther and yeah influence. Mm -hmm. And if you heard Luther's background singer, it got to take a month for you to learn one song with Luther yeah. because you they can do a show a whole show, mm -hmm. and this is hard to say without Luther, and that's. That's almost sacrilegious. Yeah. See, you know. But that's how good but that's they how, had how, to be. Oh, the, the background is incredible. And that's mm -hmm. and I can see the influence, mm -hmm. but he, he has to be, to me, nuts to even, first, that's why we, it's hard to get background singers because the ordinary people can't <laughs> sing that can't stuff. Keep up. Yeah. You know. What's next for you guys? Oh. Well, we're doing that uh, Chico the Barge thing. In, in Harlem. In Harlem. Right. 126. Two weeks of 26. No, 28th, right? What? Oh, it's the 8th. Oh, it's I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's the 8th. Oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> he, he be showing up the 28th. Yeah, I'm yeah. He's thinking of, of June 27th. Right. That's Melissa. Right. Melissa. Right. Melissa. Melissa. That's Morgan. in Maryland. Yeah. That's, that's, in Maryland. A, that's, all, that's in yeah. Maryland. We'll look for that. Where, what a, else do you guys He's going to be next? at the cutting room. I'm going to be with him the 8th. Nice. At, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's going to be in the cutting room doing his his. And not on the cutting room floor. You guys up on top, what's next? Mm -hmm. Oh, same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me, but them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're getting her ready for <laughs> August 13th at Resorts. Okay. She's going to be with us at Resorts yeah. August 13th. Over we'll the back. summer, is that your first time you'll be at Resorts with these guys? Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. looking mm -hmm. forward? No. Yep, yeah, I am. I'm excited about it. Okay, mm -hmm. and looking forward to making more music in general with these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I am. I really yeah. am. Mm -hmm. yeah. And where do you guys see yourself in the next few years? Together still? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we'll always be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they always be a camp band. band. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we just enjoy yeah. doing what we do when when we do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where can everyone find more information about you guys? Because I know right now everyone's saying Mighty Cam K A M M. Right. Where can we find you? Well, I, ha I own a rehearsal studio mm -hmm. in, in Queens Village, mm -hmm. and that's our headquarters, generally where we mm -hmm. work out our, our miracles. And online, where can we find you? Uh, it, uh, well, we, got our, we do have a website. It's, uh, we still it's in development, but it's uh, Kanban at, at VPWeb. Mm -hmm. 
uh, dot com. Okay. But I'm we'll see still that some work to do on it. But mm -hmm. and if that we got um, fourteen K T Kevin at Gmail. Good, so they can dot email com. you. Right, absolutely, fourteen okay. K T Kevin at Gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. And of you course, uh, you're on Facebook. We are yeah. absolutely yeah. individually. Okay. But we. Uh, that's something that we have to work on getting on Facebook as a band. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, we have it all on our right. different pages. Yeah. On different pages, yeah. Okay. And so. of course, we can look for you guys at the casino and other places locally as well. Yes. yes. All mm -hmm. right. So yeah. we're going to look for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And when we find you, we're going to enjoy you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All righty, guys. Thank you so much. Really, it's just been, I mean, an hour has flown by. Mm. Like you won't even believe. Uh, thank you, Gail. Thank you. Thanks for having us. This has been the Mighty Cam Band, and this is Real Talk with Claude Jones. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Gail Lewis. You can always hit me up on my website, gail-lewis.com. And for everyone here at Real Talk with Claude Jones, thanks so much for watching. Go see these guys. They're hysterical in person, and they're even <laughs> great in person, and uh, they're even better musicians and people. So go watch them yeah. and be good to each other, guys. Thanks so much for watching Real Talk. We'll see you again real soon. Take care. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.